G'day, this is Michael from Coin Collecting and Detecting, and today I'm going to be going through some coins from all over the world. So foreign coins uh, that I've got in my collection. So I've got one bag full of things here from different places around the world. Laid a few of these out here, and we're going to look at these individually. And just, um, I don't know a lot about the values of uh, coins from overseas, but I'm just interested to look at the designs. If people in the comments um, who are watching the live who can give me some information, um, that'd be awesome. So share some information about what we've got. So let's start with some of these things that we've got right here. So straight away, we've got a Fijian. Know where this one is? A Fijian 50 cent coin. Um, and the year is 1975. So cool. Cool little design there. All right. Hey, how's it going, DSS agent? Hey, welcome aboard. All right, this one here, Krona from Ireland, from an, an island. 2011, 100 Krona, I think it is. So that, one of those Scandinavian countries, I'm assuming. Um, not 100% sure, but if, if anyone knows in the comments where that one's from, let me know. Morning, Michael. G'day, how's it going, Tom? All right, what have we got here? This one is a one cent from Singapore, 1981. Cool, cool. New Zealand, New Zealand 10 cent coin. This is actually the, they used to use um, a silver looking coin and it was a bit bigger than this. So I think it was about 2006, they changed over to these copper 10 cent coins. They're a little bit smaller than the um, previous 10 cent coin. But I like that design. That's an awesome little design there. So loving that. I'm good. How are you? Going well, thank you. Yeah, good. All right, let's go for another coppery type coin. A one cent Canadian coin, 1998. Good old maple leaf. Queen Elizabeth on the back there. Nice. Good evening from the UK. G'day, how's it going? If you're from the UK, you might, you might know where this coin's from. Do you know where this coin's from? A kroner. And it's 100 Krone. Yeah, I'm not too sure, Tom. Or Coin Collecting UK, you might know that one. Yeah, okay. So what have we got here? We've got a Norge. A Norge? Sweden. Sweden says, um, or Iceland. Maybe Sweden or Iceland. It's 100 KR from Iceland, says Alexandra. Okay, cool, cool. This one... I'm assuming this one's from Norway. This is a one crone, 2015. Would, it be, would I be correct in saying that's this one's from Norway? Bosch says krona are usually used in Scandinavian countries. Looks Swedish. So that's probably that one that you're referring to there. And then, yeah, this one here is probably Norwegian. Some people are saying in the comments there. Hello from Norway. The Norge is from Norway. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Okay, so Krone is sort of the Scandinavian countries, whether it's um, maybe Swedish or whether it's Norway. Um, yeah, okay, cool. We'll have a look at, there's another Krone here. So the coin, these coins, I usually get um, passed on coins from people who have been overseas. So the person who was traveling must have gone to Norway and come back with some Norwegian coins, which is cool. Bosch Danish and Norwegian Krone both have holes in them. Ah, okay, cool. Thanks for the, the um, info. All right, this is a 10 cent euro, 10 euro cent. Cool design on the back there. RF, what does RS stand for? Royal France? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Making stuff up now. Um, got 10 cents from, I'm going to say Singapore. Singapore, there we go. So that's a 10, 1987 Singaporean 10 cent coin. A couple more coins. Oh, here we go. This one here is a New Zealand one cent coin from 1967. Copper coin, cool. Bit of a fern leaf on there. And this one will be a sen. Malaysia, 10 cent from Malaysia. Ah, Bosch, you're a wealth of knowledge. Republic of France. So it wasn't too far off it, but Republic of France is what the RF stands for on these coins. Thank you. 
Thanks for the information, guys. I really appreciate that. Okay, I've got a little bag here. I've got some more to, to get out. So let's get a few more on the hand and we can um, search through some other designs here. What have we got here? We've got a gentleman who's looking very distinguished and that's 20 crone. So another Scandinavian, Scan Scandinavian one, sorry. Um, oh, I don't know if this one's Norwegian or not. Would this be Norway? Norwegian coins? Okay, maybe Norwegian again. I didn't mind just tag you in a video. Awesome, yeah, that'd be good. Thanks, Coin Collecting UK. Norwegian again, cool. Awesome, place that down there. Another gold one. Okay, this will be another Norwegian 100 kroon. Not in awesome shape, that one. Let's go with... We did have a 10 cent just a moment ago. That one's better condition, 10 cent. This is... Oh, this will be a rand, two rand. Yeah, from South Africa. 2003. Um, yeah, I actually found this one the other day, searching through Australian 10 cent coins and it was caught up in the 10 cent coins. That was cool. So I was lucky to find that one and I slotted it in my foreign coin bag. Uh, this one will be a baht, probably one baht from Thailand. Oops, upside down. Yeah, some coins rotate this way and some coins rotate that way when you turn them around. Do you ever get any coins from the States? We just have a bunch of old dead people on them. <laughs> most, most coins do. Um, if I do, on the odd occasion, have some... Um, I appreciate the gifts there. Thank you, Heather. Um, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, so I do have some US coins, yeah. But um, I'm not sure if they're in this going to be in this little bunch of bag. This one is a New Zealand 50 cent coin, 2006. Yeah, again, they changed the design to be a little bit smaller. They used to be a lot larger, the 50 cent coins from New Zealand, so they've made them a lot smaller. Might have been from about 2006. Oh, here we go. Here's a US coin, and it's the maximum one cent. <laughs> um, yep, the US coins rotate that way, so that's a... 1989 D mint mark, which would be a Denver, Denver mint. Cool. Are there any King Charles coins in circulation? Not in Australia, but I think the UK might have some out that may be in circulation. They've released some, but Deutschland, so this will be a, a German coin. It's funny how Australia calls, oh well, there's a fair few countries on the call that around the world that call Germany. Um, Germany, when I think they refer to themselves as Deutschland and probably European countries say Deutschland as well. So I'm not sure why the difference, but anyway. Uh, 1988 one cent coin, that's not foreign to me. That's not a word, that's an Australian one cent coin. That's a feather tail glider possum on the coin there. So these were minted from 1966 to 1990 in Australia for circulation. And then they ceased. All right, I'll check a few comments out. The coin with the fish on it was Icelandic, not Norwegian. Ah, oh, okay. Um, yeah, people are saying that that's... Okay, so that's Icelandic, is it? Some of them are saying Swedish, but okay. So I'm not too sure myself. That's an old German coin. We don't use them at these anymore. Okay, so this one here, where was it? This... Um, yeah, so this is a 1991. Yeah, so it's from a little while ago. Only the 50p is in circulation at the moment. Okay, cool. Thanks for the information. Yeah. I think our UK Memorial 50p coin is Charles. Yep. Okay, cool. I think later this year, the um, in Australia, Charles will be on Australian coins, but I'm not sure exactly when. New Zealand one cent coin. Oh, wow. You have some South African rand. Yeah, I've got one South African rand coin. Two rand. <laughs> so I'm assuming I'm not very rich, but um, in South African money, but... 20 sen from Malaysia. A Norge, Norwegian coin. We've found a few of those in this little search. That's a 1997. I like, it's an interesting design with the hole in the coin. Stands out. You can see a few of them up there already. And a Malaysian 10 sen, 1973. They were building towers back then. <laughs> All right, let's get some more coins. Dara, Michael, it's your it's your old Irish friend on here. Do you know anything about Irish coins? I have a lot of the coins. No, I, I don't know a lot. I don't know a lot about 
any of these coins really um but um i do appreciate coins from around the world so I'm, that's why i'm just looking at that at the moment um but uh, there's more people in the comments will know more about some of these coins than what i do uh this one's a cook islands 10 cent coin cool some of the cook islands design the shape of the coins are really interesting okay what is this one it's a 1992 coin let's find out it's probably norwegian one krone denmark okay danish <laughs> danish coin then it's interesting to see the monarch evolve in a country over coins that's right yeah like in australia the monarch um, the queen queen elizabeth there was six different changes to her effigy on the coins over the years so they updated every so often to be more in line with how, she, how her appearance was you have an irish 10 cent there no i don't think i do no 1979 one cent coin from new zealand here we go a uk coin or one penny i'm rich i can travel to the uk and probably not buy very much with that look at the 1986 new zealand 50 cent worth 2500 the patent and circulating has error oh, okay interesting yeah okay i'll have to keep an eye out for those i don't come across many of the new zealand coins but um, on the other occasion i do Uh, Bosch says, fun fact, King Charles will face the opposite way on UK coins as they alternate between monarchs. That's right. Yeah, so they do change um, the direction. So I've got some pennies and half pennies, Australian ones here. So this is an Australian 1960 penny and the queen is facing to the right. And if I go back, there might be some in here. This one will have either her father. Yep, so her father on the corner and he's facing to the left. So you're right. So he was before so we've got left and then they changed to face to the right good call i live in england and i haven't seen a 1p 2p and 5p coin in years we just don't use coins anymore <laughs> yeah that's right it's sort of been the direction isn't it of um the way society's going but us coin collectors have a bit of an interest still so Hey, Michael, I think I'm early. Yeah, relatively early. Searching through, well, I've gone through this. I've been looking through foreign coins, coins from around the world. Singapore, 10 cents. Got some towers there. All right on, Singapore. One cent US, United States. Denver Mint Mark, 1964. Lincoln. Ah, uh, Okay, who's this person? We have got someone from Tonga. Tonga. And it's got some birds on there. 10. Oh, okay, it's hard to make out actually. It's a little bit worn. I'm trying to look down the bottom here. I can see 10 something centi or something. 10 cent. We've had a few 10 cent coins this one what's this one we've got five petas what are the five petas espana maybe spain spanish spanish <laughs> spanish <laughs> sanita ah, okay so that's a sanita is it um where was it so sanita down the bottom upside down michael okay Okay, so this is a Spanish coin, Spain. Five of those. Okay. Um, after the holidays, what time are the lives going to be? Um, I'm still, I'm pretty random at when I go live. So, um, yeah, I don't usually have a set time for lives. Um, I know that doesn't help, but um, one day I might get, get to that point. Oh, here we go. This is half a new penny. So the UK... You were rocking the half pennies. In Australia, we were rocking half pennies too. Um, okay, 10 euro cent. What's the design on the back? Ooh, is that the Colosseum? No, not the Colosseum. The, what do they call that again? What's the name of that um, monument? Probably in Greece. 
uh, Becky says, it's incredible how similar young Victoria and young Elizabeth um, second are. I don't know they're related, but still, yeah. Brandberg Gate in Berlin. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Germany, there you go. I was thinking um, one of those historic Greek sort of monuments, monuments, but okay. Good stuff, thank you for letting me know. Brandberg Gate in Berlin. Cool. This one's a fairly old one cent, 1917. This one might be a wheat penny. Yeah, so this is a US wheat penny. So it's got those little um, stalks of wheat on the sides of the coin. Pretty old coin, that one, 1917. That was back when the First World War, man, life was pretty different back then. Gates of Berlin. Okay, this one here, United Arab Emirates, cool. Got a nice pot, put the, put the kettle on, bit of tea, bit of coffee, maybe something else, I'm not too sure what else you would drink. One crone, we've got a few, we've had a few of those, haven't we? So those one crones, cool, another crone. How can I send you a pic of the New Zealand 50 cents so you know what to look for? Uh, maybe if you do a video and then tag me in it, um, that'd probably be the easiest way, yeah. Or I've got an email address, coincollectinganddetecting at gmail.com. All right, I've got a Canadian 10 cent coin from 2015. Yeah, there's the queen on there. She's got a, that's a different effigy from the ones that I've, I'm used to seeing. Nice work. Um, old Spanish coins before euros were Pesatis, Pesatis. I'm probably making a meal of that, Pesatis. Yeah, yeah, thanks for info. Uh, little Mike says, yesterday when I picked up coins, I got one of my favorite two coins. Ah, awesome. Which coin was it? I've got to go to the bank today to pick up some more coins, take some back and pick some more up. Or a Fijian 1969 10-cent coin. Cool. I find Hong Kong coins are interesting with their shapes, which is fun. Yeah, true, Becky. I, I agree. Um, I don't know if I've got any in this bag, but I do have some in another bag. Just the um, the edge designs on those Hong Kong coins is cool. 1975 New Zealand one cent coin. Ah, the Aboriginal flag coin. So you got one of these, found one of these um, $2 coins. I actually found this one just the other day too. Yeah, they're cool. Do you have some euros? I'm curious if you have some with Dutch people on it. Um, I've got, there's a couple of euros that I've come across. There was this one. And that's the Brandberg Gate, I think someone said in Berlin, and then there's this one, which has RF, which is Republic of France. Someone was able to help me out with, so that's cool. Singapore, 20, 20 cents in Singapore. New Zealand, 10 cent coin. I've seen a few of those, so I'll, I'll probably go a little bit quicker on some of the ones I've seen a few of. One dime, which is I think 10 cents in the US. Ooh, does anyone know where this one is from? I know, yeah, I am familiar with this coin. Does anyone know where this country's coin is from? It's five cents from a um, sort of like a Pacific Islander sort of type country. I would sort of, I think you'd sort of say it as as. These are very cool coins, really fine. The Australian coin's interesting, you know, to be honest. Uh, <coughs> I'll keep on going. Vanuatu, Fiji, yeah, Fiji. So thanks for guessing. But um, yeah, Fijian coin. So 1982 Fijian five cent coin, that one there, Samoa. Yeah, good guess. It's all, all in the same sort of region of the planet. So um, good stuff, guys. Ten Sen, Malaysia. This one is a 10, and I've got a feeling this is going to be one of those. It's a Swiss coin, I think. So Helventia, Helventica. I think it's a Swiss coin. One baht, I'd assume, from Thailand. Another one. So someone obviously went to Thailand and came back with a few coins. Malaysia, one sen, 1985. The minimum, probably. Have you found a Canadian coin yet? Yes, there was a Canadian coin in here. Let's see if I can just locate it quickly. 
had the boat on it. I think it was a 10 cent Canadian coin. Ah, uh, might have drifted off to the side. Yeah, there was a Canadian coin in there. However, the search continues. We might find another one. This is 20 birds. 20 birds. It's worth 20 birds in the Cook Islands. Okay, cool. Um, Becky, is there a proper term for the coin shapes with the hole in the middle? Um, I'm not too sure myself, but other people might know. Yeah, five cents from... Five cents from, I'm assuming, Netherlands. But I'm not too sure. Whereabouts is this coin from, if anyone knows in the comments? Five cents. From maybe the Netherlands. Norway, um, Denmark, maybe. Dutch coin. So the Dutch coin, is it? Yeah, cool. Yes, Netherlands. Cool. Thanks, Alexander. One cent from the US. Denver Mint Mark, 1972. New Zealand one cent coin. Found a few of those. Haven't seen one of these just yet today, but a two cent coin from New Zealand, 1971. From Queen Juliana. So that's Queen Juliana, is it? On, the, on that. Um, there you go. Ah, oh, yes, it says her name on there. Cool. Uh, not sure for a name for the shape, but it is a Norwegian crone. Ah, oh, yeah, these ones here. Is it these ones? Um, these crone coins I've got a few down here. Yeah, sort of looking through some of those a bit before. Becky, my life will be complete when the Kew Gardens or Jemima Puddle Duck 50p coins turn up in my change. I heard they're pretty hard to find, some of those. Yeah, some of those coins. Um, so good luck. Hopefully they turn up soon for you. Where do you get the different regional coins from? Um, I've just been handed some of these over the years because people know I collect coins. So if they go overseas and they come back with a handful of coins, I'll just pass them on. But also sometimes the banks, sometimes people hand coins into the banks, foreign coins. And if you ask nicely at the bank tellers, they might have some foreign coins that people have just handed in and they'll I'll just hand them back out to you. So yeah, so I've been sort of lucky to have come across a few over the years. Turkey, five kurus, 2009. G'day Ben, how's it going? All right, got another little, we'll get some more into the hand. Ooh, here's some interesting shapes. Yeah, the Cook Islands do some cool shapes. Cook Islands, 2015, that's $1. <laughs> oh no. Um, what is, yeah, I'm just not sure what's, what's going on here, but okay, we might keep moving. <laughs> that's $1. Um, I'm not sure why that's on the coins. Maybe that's just a back leg. Yeah, it's just a back leg. Yep. Okay, we'll go with that. Two dollars from New Zealand, 1990. Cool. Got a bit of a inserted rim. Cool. Okay. So a 20 cent Malaysian coin. Um, ooh, that fish looks mean. A two T. Papua New Guinea, 1975. Yeah, would that be a rockfish? A rockfish? Or I think someone in the past has maybe told me it's a lion. Is that a lionfish? Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a lionfish. We'll put it down there. Yeah, the triangular coin. Yeah, you're right. It's cool, isn't it? This is a Cook Islands coin. It's $2. And that's an interesting shape for a coin, isn't it? Cook Islands, 2015. So they've, yeah, they've gone with gone with the wavy shaped coin and then the triangular coin that really stand out it's cool if you don't find another canadian coin can you please look for the other one please yeah why not this one might be one. Oh no it's a fijian five cent coin all right i've seen a few of those we've seen a few crones this one oh this one's quite thick this will be a pound I believe, anyway. There we go, one pound. 
The crown is under the tree. Queen Elizabeth, 1992. Cook Islands are always interesting. Oh, this one looks cool. That design, that's cool. Uh, that's a 10 crown from this gentleman. So would this be Swedish, Norwegian? Oh, I'm not sure. 10 crown from Norway. Ah, I appreciate the heads up. Thank you, Ta. Norway. Norwegian. Cool. 10 crown Norwegian. Awesome. 20 sen. New ones are the dodecagon with the silver inside ring. Ooh, interesting. That sounds cool. Is that for the Cook Islands? Is it um, Bosch? The old one pound coins went out of circulation. Ah, oh, so they don't use these. So you don't use these in circulation anymore. The one pound coins like this. And what's this on the edge? Is that Latin or something? Is it? Dicus et Titame in. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so they're not using circulation anymore. That's cool. Seen a few of these. We'll keep going. It's at a one dime. Yep. And oh, this one here. Haven't seen one of these yet. Um, Bosch says, no, the UK one pound coin is a dodecagon. Ah, oh, okay, there you go. Okay, cool, thanks. So the 10 crown Norwegian in circulation from 1995. Okay, cool. One cent coin, Fiji. Fiji and one cent coin. Cool. Okay, is that Singapore? Yeah, that's Singapore. We've seen a few of those. So I'll probably skip past a few that we have come across um, before we've seen a few of them. I haven't seen one of these so far. Polska, maybe Polish. Too gross. Probably not pronouncing that correctly, but Whereabouts is this one from? If um, people know, I'd appreciate the heads up. It's a 2004, or oh, it could be Politia. Is it Polish? Poland, cool. Yes, Polish. Awesome. Thanks for the help there. Polska is Poland. Okay, cool. Cool. Is that like a dragon on there? Dragon, bird, king, all of the above. Got all the bases covered on that one. One penny. I'm coming to the UK. No, not really, but I'm going to come and buy heaps of stuff with my one pennies. Two cent coin from two cent euro. And that is a leaf with acorns. Cool. 2010. 50 cents from Singapore. Two cents, haven't seen them in so long. Ah, oh, okay, so I don't use the two cent coins anymore. Ooh, we've got a king. Looks like maybe Thor on the coins. Kroner. One fish, one crone. One crone, probably Norway. Oh, I should, my memory. It should be Norway. Well, this one's really light. So one franc, assuming it's from France. Iceland, okay, so this one's Icelandic, is it, this one? Oop. There we go, Iceland, cool. So many cool places in the world, so many places to visit. Here we go, 50 kron, this one's probably Iceland too, it's in the same sort of handful. Ah, uh, yes, it's got the same gentleman on here. Looks like a king or something. Got a few animals, cool. The franc is a pre-European coin in France. Yeah, this, uh, where was it? Here. It's really light. It's so light. It's unbelievable. It's just like you're not even holding anything. 1970 something down the bottom. 1972 maybe. Someone's asking, can you show the triangle one? Yeah, this one's the, it's a Cook Islands coin. $2 Cook Islands, 2015. Queen Elizabeth on the back there. But yeah, that's cool, isn't it? And then they've also, their other, their $1 coin is an interesting shape too and some interesting features on the coin. Um, oh dear. Okay, I'll keep going. Right, another franc. Two francs. One franc, two franc. 
Got the Franks covered. 1973, I think, down the bottom. It's from before European Union was founded. Okay, cool. <laughs> that would hurt if you sat on it. Yes, okay. 1,000 rupiah from Indonesia. <coughs> Excuse me. But, but, sen, sen, seen a few of those already, so I'll sort of just keep moving past those. This is a New Zealand five cent coin, and this creature's called a Chatura, I think, ta Tatura. Oh, I'm not too sure, I'm probably not saying that correctly, but it's they don't use these coins in circulation anymore in New Zealand either, so there you go. And another euro from 2002, this is a five cent euro. All right, the last little handful of this search of foreign coins. 10 cents from Singapore, five cents from Europe. Ooh, what's this uh, monument on the back here? I'm assuming the Colosseum, that one there, 2002, five euro cent. Do you have any old Finnish marks from before they adopted the euro? I might do, I'm not too sure. Tu Atara, okay, cool, is the correct pronunciation of the New Zealand five cent coin lizard. So, what is it? Tu Atara, Tu Atara, where is it? I'll see if I can find it and look at it and say it and maybe remember it. Oh, I can't see it anywhere. The Tu Atara has disappeared, it's gone into hiding, so I don't say its name incorrectly again. Can you please find the Canadian one after you finish? Yeah, I'll try and have a look for it, yeah. One cent coin. 20 cents from New Zealand. That's the new 20 cent coin from New Zealand, isn't it? Yeah. One cent New Zealand, 10 cent. Where's this one from? It's a little bit worn down. Philippines. Looks like the Philippine one piso. Seen a few of these ones. Two cent coin, New Zealand. Okay, another crone. This one looks a bit older, this crone. It's been worn, but it's 2001, so it's similar to some of the vintage of the ones I looked at a bit earlier. 20 coin 20 from the cook Islands. so i think someone in the comments said something about the coins have all sort of gone round in the cook Islands now but um okay so that's a 20 cent coin now yeah. do you have any dutch money i think there is some dutch coins in here that i just i looked at a little bit earlier yeah all right all right uh fijian five cent coin and we're finishing on a new zealand I'm assuming that's a fern silver fern maybe one cent coin, 1976. Okay. Someone's asking to see the um, Canadian Canadian 10 cent coin that I found. So I'm going to try and find the Canadian 10 cent coin. So bear with me as I try to find the needle in a haystack. Yeah, to a Tara. And you. All right. Um, do I have witnesses to attest to the fact that you saw that I did find a Canadian 10 cent coin? Because I'm not sure why I can't seem to spot it easily. It's got the boats on it. It's got a, a, a yacht with um, about three sails. However, I cannot see it at the moment. It's a silverish coin. Um, I'm doing my best, but I'm not seeing it. Why am I not seeing it? It's unbelievable. It's got the coin on the back. Um, I am looking and I'm looking and I'm looking but I'm not seeing it that is 
is weird. I sort of feel like it's a bit of a mystery as to why I can't see it. Hmm, that is strange. What's your favourite coin? Of all those coins, what's your favourite? Top left. Someone's saying top left. Someone's saying top left. Oh, is that... 20 cents? No. Um... It's not that one, is it? No. There's a... It's a New Zealand coin. There is a Canadian penny. It has leaves on it. Cool. Big silver top left surrounded by a crown. Yeah, that's the that's a New Zealand 50 cent coin. I'm um, sort of looking for that... That um, Canadian... Canadian coin I think it was 10 cents it's got some it's got a yacht on it I might be it might be flipped over to the other side so I'll do another sweep and see if I can see it this probably isn't that interesting for people watching me just trying to find a coin Okay, look in the comments. Triangle coin, Cook Islands. Yeah, what's your favourite coin? Triangle coin from the Cook Islands, people. Yeah, that's a bit of a favourite for a lot of people. The Cook Islands triangular coin. That's a cool one. Queen without a crown. Okay. Can you find an old Dutch golden? Oh, I think I do have some somewhere, but I... Yeah. This one here. What's this one? So it's an Icelandic 50 crone. Got the crab on there. Yeah, it's cool. That is so weird about that Canadian coin. Maybe that's what they do. They just sort of disappear. Anything special about the Norwegian coins? Ah, oh, no, it's just cool to have coins from all over the world. Top right corner has a Canadian penny. Top right corner has a Canadian penny. Oh, it might be this one here. I oh, know. It's a one penny. I think that's a UK. Is that UK or is that Canadian? So someone else is saying um, Canadian on the left middle. On the left middle. So my left, I'm not sure if it flips the flips the script when you are watching from on the left middle. Oh, this is doing my head in. No. Oh, is this the Canadian one? Oh, that's a Cook Islands. Anyway. UK, that's the UK one penny. I emailed you a picture. Cool, I'll check that out. Far left. It's such a small coin. Far left, far left. So way over here somewhere. Beep, 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 beep. One dime. Zoom out a little bit further. Hmm. Not too sure. Top right corner under the one that with the hole. Top right corner under the one with the hole. Good spot. Was it? Yeah, okay. Well, this is one, but I know there was a 10 cent um, Canadian coin there too. I'm sure there was. Okay, here we go. One cent Canadian coin. Good spot. Thank you for letting me know. Other people probably mentioned it too, but I, I couldn't. Uh, I wasn't sort of looking at the comments, so I appreciate you letting me know. Here is a Canadian coin. Someone requested to see a Canadian coin. One cent, 1998. There we go. Good stuff. All right, there you go. Thanks everyone for jumping on the live and I appreciate the help in telling me where some of these coins are from because I don't really know a lot about coins from other countries and um, it's cool just to have a bit of help and um, share the knowledge, learn some new things. But um, yeah, I appreciate everyone jumping on the live and um, I'll do some more foreign coin lives. I've got some other um, bags of coins from different countries and things like that. So this is a separate bag of from around the world too so it looks like they might be some 
US coins with that coppery type yeah, edge piece. So um, we'll check those out another time. I hope everyone has a great day wherever you are in the world. And um, yeah, yeah, follow along if you're not following my account. And um, yeah, we'll see you all again soon. Okay, catch you later.